Yep, what's good everybody? It's NASA. Bringing you some Battlefield 4 gameplay. And just to get my first gripes of the game out the way, I'm playing Domination because Conquest right now doesn't have a a search option to sort by ticket count. And every server is 800 tickets, 1,000 tickets, and I hate playing 800, 700, 1,000 ticket conquest games they just take way too long and you start losing in like the match seems to not even matter much because it just seems like a run on match and when it ends it's more like a relief like oh the match is over finally more than like a victorious feeling or whatever so until they put an option in where i can sort it for smaller ticket lobbies or at least i could see the ticket counter in the preview like in battlefield 3 which they removed for some reason uh, then I'll start playing Conquest again, then maybe I can post some Conquest games. And, uh, you know, I don't like to play Team Deathmatch in, uh, Battlefield. If I did, I would play Call of Duty. And then, um, this is kind of like a... What I don't like about the way Domination is in this game is that you can't spawn on the flags. And you spawn kind of randomly, except, like, if you spawn on your squad mate. You just spawn, like, in a random corner on the map that has like relative like not relative to any th reason it's just all right you, now you're gonna spawn back here and when we feel like it you're gonna spawn over here so i don't like the randomness of the domination in a uh, in battlefield 4 so that's why i'm not really a big domination fan but at this point it's the only game mode that i can play that i could get a nice quick game under 10 minutes uh, have fairly a nice amount of action. See, I thought I could blow up that wall, I guess. Uh, Frostbite 4 isn't that nice. Like they say it is, but... That's why, uh... That's why I'm playing this right now, even though I don't particularly enjoy it. Two-piece, uh, but... What happens when you play Domination 2 is sometimes it does become super cluster... Uck-ish. Where it's like... Your spawn and the enemies just like piled up right next to you and uh, you can't do anything really and sometimes you just spawn in a group and like you can get spawn camped in domination too if the other team has three flags but um but anyway to the game the actual game itself the game's re really good what I like about Battlefield 4 as opposed to Battlefield 3 is in Battlefield 4 the guns shoot a lot better uh, I think they reduced uh, the accuracy to a degree on the SMGs not much but just slightly because when I was playing the beta it felt like I was able to long range guys with a SMG like with no problem like I'm talking about long range shots not like some short little like uh you know I'm talking about long range like this rocket from long range and what I also like about this game is they increase the explosive damage so the grenades do a little bit more damage the rockets do a little bit more damage. So now you could actually get kills with them. <laughs> it seemed like the only way you got a grenade kill in Battlefield 3 was if a guy just didn't realize the icon and just stood standing right on top of it. But this is when I realized the RPGs were pretty good in damage wise. So I was just having a little fun trying to toss some rockets down, get some kills. Uh, then I must got sniped that right there. But overall, I think the changes are a lot for the positive. Uh, compared to Battlefield 3. Um, one thing I don't like about the Conquest maps is the flags seem way too far apart. Um, for me, a perfect Conquest match would be three to four flags super close to each other, like almost like domination close to each other with two outer flags. And if you have seven flags, put maybe three bunched up three bunched up and then maybe one on an island you know uh because when everybody has to drive to the flags because they're so far if you ah look at this Ugh! but if you have to um like drive to every flag instead of walking uh when there isn't a vehicle and you do end up walking during those times then sometimes you'll walk for like you know two three minutes and get shot from a guy randomly or a guy spawns and saw you or you got spotted from across the map and a guy shoots you and then you just walked for three minutes did absolutely nothing but walk so i prefer the the flags close to each other where at least you could spawn go to the other flag and you know the whole team's there you could get into a nice 
a gunfight up close. If you get killed, you respawn, you get right back into the action, and it's not that, you know, walking, oh, let me get a vehicle, because it's not like you have a vehicle battle. If two cars are coming across each other, they just fly past each other, you know? So the excitement isn't really there when you have to drive to the flags as opposed to walking to the flags. That's why when you have the outer flags, it's not too bad because you can take a vehicle over there, capture that outer point, and then just come back. And it's just really like an additional flag to rack up points, not really a focus of battles, so to speak. So um, I do like Battlefield 4, though. Uh, like I said, I think that, like, I was trying to get this knife. Got my guy killed. My bad. Um, I do like overall Battlefield 4. Uh, I still think there's a lot of minor things that can be fixed and adjusted that could make the game even better. But as it, as it stands now, it's not a bad purchase. It's a good game worth buying. But um, I just want to give my thoughts on the game real quick. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I may start doing some more commentaries depending uh, on how I feel and if I'm up to it. But uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, let me know. I know it's been a while, but uh, if this is something you guys want, I know Shakedown had asked me, Claudio did, Jay Z, so shout out to those guys. But hope you enjoyed the video. Peace. I'm out. New York stand up.